nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun fiction presents Legendary Gaming. Wednesday. You know what we do here on Wednesdays. We get an unboxing. Now, today's unboxing was a Kickstarter. And this was a Kickstarter for a game I already had. Well, a different version, an earlier version of it. A, a, a book and writing version of it. And now, a card game. I was so excited about this one. I told Tommy V about it. He backed me up 100% and said, Big Johnny G, you've got to back that. We need that for ourselves, for the shelves, and for the channel. So, although this may end up going foul fast, we do have a game with great criminal intent that is here. And if you will do me the favor of joining me down at the table, then together, my friends, we will discover what's in the Pixie's box. <laughs> I'll see you down there. All right, my friends, we have an unboxing unboxing today. Yes, straight to Two Gun Pixie from Bully Pulpit Games, who I have been waiting for this, and I'm not the only one. It's been a lot of people, a lot of people backed this on Kickstarter, and we have been clamoring to get our hands on this. So with no further ado, because there is far too much ado in this world already, my friends, let us say hello to our friend, Fu Manchu, who, as you know, is always ready with a blade on his mind. Now we get you off to a safe spot there, Fu. Thank you very much, buddy. All right. And uh, as you all know, my friends, always cut away from yourself. Okay, part one, as slow as that was, even on fast forward, <laughs> we, uh, we see that we have a, a bunch of peanuts. All right, let's, ooh, yeah. Unknown, no, the game is not called Unknown Monsters, it's Fiasco, the brand new edition of Fiasco, and here are some extra uh, encounter play, uh, play groups. Two of them in each of these. Well, uh, let me just put this over here for the moment. Because that's not the real deal. The real deal. Mm -hmm. oh. I didn't quite have enough money to get all of the expansions. I want to try to get my hands on them so I can showcase everything uh, that is coming out for Bully Pulpit Games' new Fiasco in a Box game. And that's that for that. So this is what my backer uh, looked like. This is what my backer kit is what I ended up getting. I know there was, what, at least one more? Or was there, or was there two? Hmm, I'll have to check and uh, try my best to get my hands on those when I can. All right, let's, let's put Unknown Monsters, Fiasco USA, and Teen Angst off to the side over here for now. And let's check out this amazing, this amazing box. Mmm. All right, enough looking. Let's open it up so we can really get a look. All right, my friends, once again, 
always cut away from yourself. All right, I want to see the cards and everything else in here. Nice, smooth, came right off. And I know if you've watched more of my unboxings in the past, you know, sometimes I kind of struggle to get these things off. And this is so smooth, so smooth. On, off. Very, very cool. Okay, now let's see what we got in here. The Fiasco Rule Book. I do have the original Fiasco, and I have to admit, me, me and Tommy V always had a little bit of a problem with it, and we always wanted to jump into this game. Now, I think we're finally going to get a chance to do so. Uh, this seems like it's, it's written and edited well, put together. It seems to be flowing from one logical thought to another, but I won't know completely until I get a chance to read that. Yeah, hey, give it a shot. Play Fiasco and roll 20. There's the board. Not much. We don't need much. Negative outcomes, aftermath, positive outcomes. And it shows you exactly what's going on in the game. The setup, act one, to the tilt. And then from there, act two, judgment, and the aftermath. Hmm, cool. Let's not. Using the let's not card, one, Two, three, four, and five. One for each player. Hmm. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna read it. You pause. Try to read that. And here go Dex, 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 Dex! Good lord. So here goes a playset called the Dragon Slayers. Oh, Dragon Slayers. Let's see that. What does that say? So, yeah. We rode into the miserable little town. A bunch of outsiders ready to solve their problems. Solve a dragon. Well, we solved it. And here we are. Ready to kick back and split up the loot and gale these bumpkins with tails of mummy rotten devilish traps and the dragons we whacked. Of course, it's never that simple. Adventurers like us all have egos, and we all have a past. A D and D, a fantasy set. I mean, I, I knew this was coming because so I was a backer, but I forgot. It's been so long, I forgot exactly what the sets were and what was coming. I vaguely remember the extra ones. Mike Ruth wrote down your own stuff. We all know how I feel about that in the game. Alright. Spadagus. Location from the past. Small village. Now a burnt ruin. Spellweaver. From the past, cave holding hidden treasure, if you still have a map. Stone Heart. Dungeon, lower level, Dragon's Lair. Location, Skull Crusher. And Firewind, Elizabeth. Gregory, Jeffrey, Kronig, Krongak, Dagar. Hmm. Give away all the cards. Dragon Slayers. 
Yeah, feel free to steal one of these options for a seed to establish. Okay. Cool. This means well, relationships, needs. Needs object. Hmm. If you take this out, you can fit like just about everything in here, I think. So this play set that comes with it. Tales from Suburbia. I think this is directly, uh, I think this is like directly taken from one of the, from the book. So these were the, uh, this was the original this. These are the only two I had for it. But I think Tales from Suburbia is directly from the original game. Let's take a quick look at the cards, shall we? You didn't tune in just to see a box. Tales from Suburbia. Some of the kickers. So again, you got some of the blank ones. And then all the rest of them, and basically into the, uh, the relationships, the needs, items. need to get lost in a doomed affair. Need to get rich through ripping off some people. And of course, to get laid by your best friend. Unsavory, broken police ankle monitor. Valuables, three bags of undelivered mail. And a weapon, a Klingon battle. <laughs> That's cool. Poppleton Terrace. Redbud Court. Van without tires, surrounded by rotting newspapers. And Apple Valley. Country Rec Center, Skate Park, and Pool. Oh, cool. Taking this. This is, uh, so so streamlined compared to uh, what we found in uh, where I just put them in these <laughs> in these original books. Yeah, it definitely seems more streamlined. And uh, this is a Fiasco engine deck. So hold on, let's not look at that yet. Let's come over here and take a look at this. The Poppleton Mall. Hmm. All right, you can always pause that and read it. I want to see the cards. Oh, big fingers. Get in here and open this up. Hey. I'm just going to rip it. Yeah, I always have trouble with card deck boxes. Uh huh. Okay, pump it to the mall. Some of the kickers of the game. Relationship, family, parents, and a stepchild. Work, slackers. Good friends, but church frenemies. <laughs> Need to get lost in a new you, better than the old you. Need to get even with a family member. 
need to get lost in a big pile of cash. Call security and syringes of human growth hormones. Valuables, AKC registered Yorkshire Terrier. Cancel Christmas. Swing arm of a paper cutter. West End Baldwin Jewelers. Moscow Sweepers Truck Cab. Woods by the Mall. Stormwater runoff period. And the empty ones. Okay. So those, that's what comes with it as far as the play sets go. The three existing play sets. Then you also, you get this, you have this cool engine deck. If you want to drive a fiasco game like the stolen car it is, you'll need an engine. And this is it. This engine deck consists of 32 fine-tuned outcomes. 16 positive, 16 negative. 20 powerful aftermaths. And two Let's Not cards. Well, that was easier. Hmm. Aftermath total. The worst thing. I'm probably not dead because there are worse things than being dead. I'm going to take a moment to think about it and get back to the concern of what's exactly the worst thing that I can imagine it is. I may ask you all for your advice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and higher. And they all have something on the back, but no, 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 I'm not showing you. I'll show you one and that's it. I can't give it all away, so I'll show you one. Oh, this is the same thing. Hmm. Oh, um, positive negative? Yeah, I get it. Po oh, no, here's the positive negative. Positive negative coins. Guilt! Greed calls the shot. Negative. Mayhem! A dangerous animal gets loose. And two, let's not. Let's not do that. Ooh. And then, like I said, you take this out, and uh, this will be able to store store the decks. And we're already we're already oh, 15, uh, 16, 17 minutes there going into this. So, uh, you know, why don't we cover those separately like they deserve to be covered anyway. So that's it, my friends. Right now, anyway, that's it for right now. The fiasco in a box. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, for Two Gun Pixel Presents. Legendary Gaming, and my friends, I am...